Hi everyone. Yay, we're here. <laughs> Makes me happy. Uh, good. <laughs> then uh, welcome. And uh, we'll just sit a bit for the beginning, okay? And uh, <clears throat> I don't know. It's not really necessary to orient ourselves because where are we? We're always in the deep field of the universe. But um, sometimes it's nice to do nothing for a bit and see what appears. And that's meditation. So to begin, uh, you know, I suppose we always begin with here. What's here? What's it like to feel my own life here? And without, uh, I suppose without prejudice, really, to step out of the ways we think about ourselves and our life and the people we know and and uh, and just feel your life right now. The big thing, feeling our lives. Enjoying ourselves really <laughs> with the hereness of being here. <clears throat> you know, you're in this, if you look around your temple, you're in this, your own temple was just for you for this moment. The walls, the roof, the trees, if you're outside, the flowers, the chair. We showed up in the universe and this happened. <laughs> one of the old teachers says, it's for you, honored one. <laughs> so indeed it is. So just to feel it, feel the time and all the things, all the multiplicity of things that make up your life, that is perhaps not essential to fuss with them enough. Let, let your life organize itself for the time of the meditation. Or not organize itself. <laughs> it's good enough without you reaching and stri without you reaching and striving. What a strange and marvelous thing not to reach and strive. just to be here. And you can tell how, you can just feel it, like right now, if you just feel it, there's nothing required of you.
Well, it's a joyful thing, you know. Um, whatever you decide your life is for, <clears throat> to come together, in med just to do meditation, is itself opens many gates and doors. But to come together and do meditation, then we realize the connections among us and between us. And nobody has to look down on anybody or look up to anybody because <clears throat> we're all connected in a mysterious way and we just have to think, well, that's enough. Just like a bird call, it's enough. Or the sound of traffic, you know, the sunlight striking through the window, it's enough. And so the, if you want a koan, uh, well, one of the koans about the way we're all, all linked, you know, the way we're both unique and linked, uh, each branch of coral holds up the moon. Each branch of coral holds up the moon. And so you tell that you know, the moonlight, <clears throat> wherever you look, in the ocean, in the water, where there's car, you know, there's a moon wherever you look. Thousands of moons, and it's all your moonlight. Each piece of moon is yours. And something to do with you. So the thing with the great koans is... Uh, <clears throat> in a way not to jump past them and figure them out or if you need to do that that's okay but um what i've found is just let it come to me and act upon me it's like it's feeling the time feeling the koan this beautiful poem really a fragment of the universe a fragment of a poem each branch of coral holds up the moon And just be willing to be here with you, where well, you are you, just be, being willing to be here without knowing a lot about what you're doing here. I have a practice is a marvelous thing because it's not described by anything else we care about or wish for. It's not smaller than anything else. It's not for anything else. It's just for you. Each branch of coral holds up the moon. <clears throat> 